Lads, thanks so much for chatting to RT10 today. No problem. Thanks for having us. No problem. Now, 2013 was such a huge year for you. If you could sum it up in just one word, what would it be? Huge. <laughs> <laughs> now, we of course are here to celebrate the very special edition of In a Perfect World. But what makes it so special? Well, you see, we, we recorded a lot of EPs while we were kind of putting out singles of, over the last year, just because we like kind of putting more tracks out, you know? And some of the tracks you can only get if you got those EPs when they're out, and, you know? So it was just putting all the tracks that we did this year onto the one record. And, uh, yeah, it was about time to do it to Lux to say, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> now I have another great tricky question for you. This is a tweet that came in. If that album was an animal, what would it be and why? Um, a gorilla fit. A gorilla fit. Have you seen it? Of course you wouldn't have seen this. It's, it's some stupid thing that it's, yeah, we that found. It was on BuzzFeed and it was like, take animals' faces and put them on different animals. And there was one that got yeah. a gorilla's head and put it on an elephant. And it's called a gorilla fit. And we just love it. So. I like it. That's pretty yeah, sick. It's, it's gorilla quite funny. It's really serious at <laughs> yeah. times. It's yeah, like the, the face of the gorilla is like angry, but it's on an elephant. So, so it's having a good time. So yeah, so you can't help but laugh. Now, a Facebook question that came in for us was, there's some really slick um, cover songs in this album, but if you had to team up with one dream artist, who would it be? It would be different for everybody else. It's like We're all going to have different answers, but mine would probably either be like Jay-Z or David Grohl. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'd David Gray there. <laughs> <laughs> David Gray is this? Um, I'd probably pick like Jack White mm. or Daft Punk. Yeah, like Daft Punk or Nicholas Jarr. Something like Nicholas Jarr. Yeah. Yeah. Steve's not here, but yeah. he'd say Bruce if he was. Good yeah. choices. Now, what would you say your biggest highlight to date has been so far? For me, I think Electric Picnic is still up there. That was just one of the best gigs we've ever played. Like, it Weird. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. great to come home at that time of the summer as well. It was like just after we'd been out for so long. Come back and see that many people out. It was great. The Olympia dates and stuff like that are they're like they we've been looking forward to them for ages because the Olympia is like it's a famous venue mm. we've all gone to gigs growing up there and stuff like that my first ever gig I went to was there so like to be able to go and play three shows in a row was kind of mental it's crazy we did like selling out one was incredible but to do three of them is kind of yeah it's yeah bizarre. we've been <laughs> anticipating for a lot and it, it stood up like last night was great we've got two more tonight and tomorrow then the tour next year like the O2 Arena and INEC and then uh, that's pretty much sold out as well, so that's going to be insane. Now Christmas is fast approaching, what are your plans? Anything good? Uh, we're, we're touring up until the 14th, 14th of December, December and then we're free. Home, yeah. so home for yeah. a while, yeah, so I'm, I'm going on a holiday, I'm going to go away to Spain for a week. And, oh, and then yeah, I think we're just going to like chill out and yeah. catch up with friends and family. Lots and of lions. Lots of lions, lots of lions. yeah. What do you write? quite a few songs as well because we're going to the studio in January so I'll just be chilled out kind of that kind of vibe.